What's up everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how to use Calendly in 2023. Be sure to watch the entire video to gain a comprehensive understanding. Without further delay, let's get started. First of all, open your web browser. Make a search for Calendly. Open the first link from the website URL calendly.com. You will be redirected to the homepage where easy scheduling is ahead. At the top, there are tabs, products, solutions, teams and companies, pricing and resources. Click on Pricing. Upon observing, you can see there are four price plans. First one is basic, which is always free. Next is essentials, which costs $8 per seat per month. Then you have professional, which is popular and costs $12 per seat per month. Last one is Teams, which costs $16 per seat monthly. Also, you can give it a try for free. From the top, switch to Build Monthly. As you can see, Teams price plan has changed to $20 per seat per month. Also, professionals and essentials have changed to $15 and $10 per seat per month, respectively. In case you choose build annually, you can save 20%. From the top right corner, click on Get Started. So, provide an email address to get started. Alternatives include signing up with Google or Microsoft. Here, I'm selecting Continue with Google. Then choose an account to continue. In order to give access to Calendly of your Google account, tap on Allow. So you need to streamline your scheduling experience here by connecting essential tools. At the top, you see this is the first step. You can add Google Calendar, Microsoft Calendar or simply tap on Add More. Dropdown contains Google Calendar, Microsoft Calendar, Exchange Calendar and iCloud Calendar. Then connect video conferencing. Options include Zoom and Google Meet. Upon viewing more, you can see WebEx, Microsoft Teams and GoToMeeting as well. Tap on Continue. Next, choose the type of meeting in which you are interested. After this, click on Continue again. As you can see, you can edit the selection later. Basically, you need to choose Consulting or Freelance Meetings which you schedule. Here, select up to three event types. As you select, you can see the starting appear at the right side as a preview. You can see this page here. From the top, you can see event types. So these all are the event types which you have selected as per the choice. Then go to scheduled events. Here, Tabs include Upcoming, Pending, Past, and Date Range. 
At the right side, you have Export and Filter. In Filters, you can sort by Teams, Events, Active Status, Tracking and Invite Emails. Also, you can clear all the filters. From the bottom, tap on View Event Types. You can see all the event types here. Again, go to Scheduled Events. Click on Create. So you can create event types, one-off meetings and meeting polls. I'm going to click on the meeting poll. Here choose what times do you want to offer invitees to vote on. As you can see, some of the times are unavailable. Next, go to other dates. Here tap on add times. This is where you can add times as per the choice. Next, tap on next. First set meeting name. Then set a location. Click on add details or agenda. In settings, you can set vote visibility. Then tap on publish meeting poll. From here, you can copy the link to the meeting poll. Next, close this window. So go to event types, then scheduled events. Go to the pending tab. Here, you can see a pending event along with its name and creation date. Then, go to Details. This is where you can see all the details of the meeting. Next, tap on Workflows. You can see a number of workflows here. Once you select a workflow, tap on Use Workflow. First select Workflow Name. Then decide Event Types from the options available. Click on Apply. Next, tap on Edit under When This Happens. Edit this over here, then select Done. Then you have Do This where you need to send invite emails. For this, click on Edit. Make changes in the invite email like subject, body of the email. Then click on Done. From the bottom right, click on Save. So you can see all the details over here. Next, go to Routing. Here you can read two basic steps leading to routing. After this, go to Availability. Click on the New Schedule button. Then go to Integrations. So, you can see all integrations like Calendly for Chrome, Calendly for Edge, and a lot more. Here, click on Connect MailChimp. Then, tap on Allow. As you see, MailChimp is being installed on Calendly. In Integrations, you can see all the integrations in detail. In Help tab, you have Help Center and Talk With Us. Go to the last tab, that is Account. From the drop-down menu, go to Analytics. Dismiss this box here. 
Here you can see created events, completed events, rescheduled events, and canceled events. Also, you can see popular events, popular times, and a lot more. So you are all done with Calendly. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to get notified for new videos.